Hello everybody and welcome to Provis Gaming and a new series I'm starting for Bio Inc. Redemption. Per popular demand, we will be playing every scenario in the life and death campaigns on lethal difficulty and creating guide videos for those scenarios. The last series I did was a bit more casual, and by casual I mean we played everything on severe. But now that I've gained a bit of XP, I'm now level 15, that's about the level that you need in order to have access to pretty much every single booster for every scenario, which gives you a good key advantage, and you can now play everything on lethal difficulty. So, let's start off in the life campaign. We're going to do every single one of these, and then move on to the death campaign. And obviously, uh, even on lethal difficulty, the earlier scenarios are really no joke. You can still lose them. But, it does ramp up in difficulty. Med school, this is kind of the training wheel scenario. Nothing really complicated about it. But obviously, you want to have some strategy kind of in place so that you can beat it on lethal difficulty. So, internship is the first mission. We will go for a female patient. Not that it really matters. It's just cosmetic. And for our boosters, we are going to go for better resources to start. I do like this one quite a bit. There are some circumstances where Head Start is good. An emergency bonus if you suspect that your patient is going to go to the emergency room very early on. And there are some scenarios where that is the case. But in general, whenever I'm in doubt, or it's just a pretty generic scenario, I'm going to go for better resources. For diseases, a lot of these are actually pretty reasonable. Weak diseases is good in all cases. Every scenario, this is pretty good. Less collateral damage can also be quite nice, especially if you know your patient's going to have a lot of risk factors. Uh, and then there's fewer symptoms and fewer potential diseases, and these kind of both do the same thing, but uh, ultimately it makes it easier to diagnose your patient which means you're wasting less points and you're able to cure them a little bit faster. So I'm going to go ahead and grab fewer potential diseases. Clicking on a symptom will actually, you know what, no, we're going to go for fewer symptoms. That way we can narrow our potential diseases that way. That should be fine. I like to just be able to diagnose a little bit more effectively. But again, weaker diseases would be a close second for me. For lifestyles, a lot of these are also okay. Instant lifestyle, I think, can be good in a pinch if you know your patient's going to take a lot of damage, but otherwise, I kind of would avoid that. Random lifestyles, sometimes it's okay. Weak risk factors, good in certain scenarios. And when in doubt, I kind of like better lifestyles. It's just good for a generic scenario. 20% more effective lifestyles. Maybe we won't need them this time, but if we do, they'll be that much better. For intensive care, uh, we could go for cheaper tests, which would make our diagnostics a little bit cheaper. Treatments, so the treatments are cheaper, or just treatments are more effective. This can also be good. And in the scenarios when your uh, patient is going to be going for 100% health, which is kind of like of two-thirds of the scenarios, recovery head start can be pretty good. Start at 10%, it means you have to cure less diseases before you win the scenario, which can mean better score, but it costs 5 XP. I probably won't bother with that right now. We could go for probably cheaper diagnostics, or we could go for better treatments. Uh, I'm just going to go for the cheaper diagnostics. And for our environment, uh, if you're going to do this, then I would say slow collapse is always better. Decrease the system's collapse by 30%. Boom, that is all 15 of my points. I was able to get 3 XP per booster, which is why level 15 is a good starting point to get lethal difficulty. And let us begin. We better make a good impression. Lifestyle elements, of course, will increase the system health. Yeah, that's a, that's a, good, that's a good tip. All right, so we have a few diseases targeting the circulatory and nervous systems, and overall health is suffering. So please check the circulatory and nervous system first and foremost. All right. Well, now we're just going to sit back for a second, and we're going to wait to gather up some points. Um, but if we look on the bio map, we have anxiety, weight gain, fatigue, dizziness, leg swelling, headache, and an irregular heartbeat. That tells me we probably have uh, high cholesterol. Um, hypertension would make sense. Leg swelling can really only be blood clots. Dizziness could be pretty much anything, and then there's fatigue. I'm guessing all of these are going to be my first... Um, my first culprits. And then in the nervous system, we have anxiety, which is probably chronic stress, maybe even a nervous breakdown. Fatigue could also fit that bill. And then a headache. I'm going to go with chronic stress and nervous breakdown are my most likely culprits there as well. So let's go ahead and gather up those points. Make sure I don't miss out on any of those if I can. And we should be able to do some tests pretty early on, especially with the slightly cheaper diagnostic tests. Um, maybe we can even go for something right now, actually. Do we want to just go ahead and do uh, an ultrasound? Nope, that's three. All right, let's just go ahead and do the blood pressure test. We can find that hypertension pretty early on. I know that it's there somewhere. Absolutely positive. Now, with the better resources booster, we should be getting slightly higher value uh, bio points as we play. So that will be nice. We can go for the hypertension if we want to right now. Uh, now, keep in mind, your efficiency does matter. Uh, if we go for 80% efficiency, yes, that cures the hypertension, but it also is only doing 80% recovery on that. It still will take 20% of this damage, so you're not quite out of the woods. Just 
mostly out of the woods. Now, I'm not especially worried about the patient at a second. I am instead going to go for a metabolic panel so we can find the um, high cholesterol. Then we'll probably work toward uh, angina and stuff. I'm just going to go ahead and detect these things because I know that they're there. But we could just go ahead and cure them as well. It, it, honestly, at this point, I don't know if it really is going to matter all that much. Um, I'm just kind of sitting around waiting for points. Now, in this game, I would highly recommend you go for your uh, upgrades whenever you can. For that, we need to diagnose three diseases. One of the reasons that I am trying to diagnose a little bit faster. Oh, we actually found something I wasn't expecting. Polycystic ovary syndrome. A uh, system, uh, symptom that is getting uh, increasingly common, apparently, nowadays in women. Kind of scary. 40% harvest power. Sweet. We'll go ahead and pick that up right away. Go for the upgrades whenever you can. They're always going to be better. They always are cost effective. Make everything faster. Make everything better. All right. And we're going to go for the... Uh, actually, we can go ahead and just cure a couple things real quick. All right. Let's go ahead and just cure a couple things right now. I was expecting to get um, one more before I would be able to get my upgrade, but... Now we have to start treating some diseases so I can unlock the next upgrade, and that's easy enough to do. Uh, I think we'll need to detect one more, but I pretty much can guarantee you that Angina is going to be in there, so... We'll, uh, we, we know exactly what to look for. This is an easy internship, after all. Um, they're not going to give me a patient who's actually terminally ill and give me a chance to kill them, would they? That sounds like medical malpractice just waiting to happen. Alright, let's go ahead and get the alpha blockers for the hypertension. Cure that while we can as well. Uh, a fair bit of damage currently being done in the nervous system, which um, I would hate for one of these systems to fail, but I think there's a very good chance we'll be able to do this without that happening. Let's go ahead and get the exercise electrocardiogram, like so, because I'm also positive that that is there. I do not expect this patient to suffering a heart attack. Uh, I think we would see a lot more damage if that were the case, so it's probably only going to be this far and probably not going to an arrhythmia. Probably. We'll see. I'm actually going to go for the uh, cheaper solution on this one, just to go ahead and cure it and move on. What do we actually need in order to cure the polycystic ovary syndrome? Four, oral contraceptives. Yep, the pill apparently is enough to actually help get rid of some of those, uh, some of those cysts. Who would have thunk? All right, let's go ahead and pick that up. That is currently doing uh, mostly nervous system damage, so picking that up actually is going to be a good thing. Uh, means we can try regenerating, or at least causing less damage to the nervous system. Now, what we could do if we were a little concerned about our patient's systems failing and we want to offset the damage, is we could go for some lifestyles pretty early on, and that wouldn't be too bad either. Um, as it is, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the ultrasounds, because that is going to be the last one. I'm pretty confident she just has blood clots, and once we cure that, her circulatory system will be fine. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and do a quick... Um, Let's go ahead and do a quick psychological evaluation. I'm pretty sure she does go this far. <clears throat> I want to make sure... Whoa, what happened to those points? You see that one just fly up over there? That was a little bit awkward, weren't it? I'm pretty sure. All right, we're going to save these points until we can actually finish uh, our next cure, but I think we're actually going to have 100% diagnostic efficiency in this match, which is easy. Um, that should be pretty much everything, I think. We'll check later. Another upgrade is available, which gives me three every 15 days. That is almost always worth it, unless you're right at the end of the scenario. Which, do we think she'll last another 30 days? Actually, I think I might not need it. There's a chronic stress and the nervous breakdown. Funny, I don't recall the psychological evaluation testing for chronic stress, but maybe because this is the internship, it actually goes ahead and gives me that information ahead of time, which is interesting. Let's go for... Uh, if we want to do psychiatric counseling, that would take 33 days. We're just going to go for axiolytics instead, and stress management therapy, which does things by 90%, and there are no more symptoms, so that's pretty good. Um, are we going to get to 100% recovery? I'm, I'm a little concerned. For some reason, we're not getting close to the 100% recovery, even though I'm actually about to cure the patient. Well, that's awkward. <laughs> Let's go ahead and speed things up a little bit. Speeding up is good because... Gathering up points is kind of the most boring part of the game. But sometimes you'll miss out on points if you're not careful, and that's, well, that's never fun either. All right, well, I guess I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. Um, I don't know if we're going to last that long, but we're going to find out. Patient is healing up pretty nicely. We could go for some lifestyle improvements, uh, improve the circulatory system by going for aerobic exercise. Seems reasonable enough to me. And if we go for some yoga or something, I think we'll be able to cure her nervous issues as well. Yoga turns out quite good. Inyali, do you hear that? Inyali. Inyali? She won't listen to me. I think she's deliberately ignoring me because I keep telling her she needs to do her yoga. Because she keeps saying she wants to do it. And then what does she do? She doesn't do her yoga. Whoa, we're getting a lot of points all of a sudden. That's fine. 
Okay, okay, this is why you don't play on maximum speed for a while. Plus one per resource, great. Let's go ahead and go to the intensive care, no, sorry, the lifestyles, and we are going to go for relaxation therapy plus some yoga. Solve that problem. Go for a sleep routine, and if we can, routine, and if we go for meditation, that will also get some uh, nervous system regeneration as well, which is actually currently regenerating as of right now, so that's great. Uh, we're missing out on all of these points right now because I was going too fast, um, but that's fine. I think all there is to do at this point is just use lifestyles to heal up the patient. Um, so I guess really what we're, what we're showing here to our um, superiors is that not only can we diagnose a patient, we can also help them improve their lifestyle and actually be healthy in the long term, which is an important skill for a doctor to have. So in our internship, this does make a whole lot of sense. And as the patient's health gradually increases, you'll see that our recovery is greatly improving as well. Uh, we can also probably go for... Now, well, let's see. We could go for some strength training plus a fitness enthusiast, which would get the circulatory system going a lot faster. So at this point, it's just about trying to get as much score as you can through speed. But I don't think it's going to be that much longer to wait. We could actually just go ahead and speed up. And I will. And I'm just going to pick up some bio points. I'm not even going to bother spending them. You get a little bit of extra points for every point that you have that you did not spend. So she's getting a lot healthier, a lot stronger. She's feeling better about herself. Everything's looking great for Jane Doe. Thank you for those points, and we win. Not hard, even on lethal difficulty, as long as you have the boosters. Without boosters, lethal difficulty still can be a little bit tricky for uh, these earlier scenarios, but internship, really not that bad, especially when they tell you exactly where all of the diagnostics are going to be uh, taking place. So there you go. 140% diagnosis efficiency. How was I better than 100%? Nobody knows. My total score, 7,000. Not hard, not bad at all. Uh, I recommend going for those boosters. Just check those areas. It's pretty much going to be the same for every single game on Lethal Difficulty. From here on out is where things are going to start getting a little bit more difficult. But we'll come back to that. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. Hit that notify bell if you want to see my future videos. And I will see you guys next time. <laughs>